It's time for Hoda and Jenna's Social Dilemmas. Okay, here's a Thanksgiving edition. Okay, ready? I like this. First one, Melissa asks, every year I attend Thanksgiving dinner with extended family. Last year, my friend came with me, but she had a little too much to drink oh. and totally embarrassed me. She just asked if she could come again with me this year. How do I say no thank you? No thank you. No thank you. I think you just say, you know what, this year we're kind of keeping it just family. Yeah. You know, I'm sure you understand. Yes. You know, this is this is like a family year, but it was so fun when you came last time. I think, and if for some reason you are like m the more the merrier, you want her to come, but just because she embarrassed you, you could also have that courageous conversation. What would you, what would you? Maybe just say, you know, we don't drink as much. Yeah. Is that hard to say? Yeah. Does that sound judgy? I don't mean it, but maybe you know, let's this year y you could come, but mm -hmm. I it's, yeah, we're no. gonna have to tap the. Br I think you just tell her she's not coming. Okay. I think it's probably easier than telling her that she drank too much because then you'll be looking at her every time she takes a sip. Like there she goes again. I think you'd be worried about it. Okay, fine, don't come. All right, here's the next one. This comes from Katie. This is our viewer. She says this: My sister gives her toddler an iPhone to distract her during meals. No judgment but I know she's planning to do it at Thanksgiving. Can I tell her to ditch the electronics for the holiday? Boy. Dang, these are hard. God, that's so hard. Because everyone has their own parenting, except for when everyone's sitting at the same table. I totally, I get, I get it. Everybody's sitting at the same table, but also your sister might not, you know, and I don't, we sort of are like, you know, no phones when we're all sitting to have dinner because you want a conversation. But what do you do if? But also, Toddlers are hard. Like she may not be, your sister may not be able to have a conversation if she's sitting. Maybe I know, but if one half, toddler has it, then they all, all want, want it. it. You can't have one without everybody. I think you have to say, "Can we try something?" Yeah. Do you mind if we, since there are other kids there, yes. and I bet you they'll entertain each other? Because it's one thing if you have your own kid, but there are other. I kids. have an idea. What, play a game. I have an idea. What? Let's go. Yes. Why don't you get those little turkeys that you can print on the internet with yeah. some crayons? Yeah. And some tic-tac-toe boards. I mean, toddlers are hard, but get some coloring pages. They and like then maybe that. Every Everybody says something they're thankful for. Yes. Like make it or interactive. Or you can make a placemat. Yes, a placemat. Placemat with the name on it. Yes. Like I think if there are multiple kids, I think that the phone thing can go away. Agree. Because they can do that. It's like in school. You have lots of kids yeah, around. Yeah, and maybe let the kids get up at some point and go play. Yes, get up. Okay. It's even better. Right? Yeah. Last okay, one. This is from Meredith one. M. Oh, she geez. wrote in, I stumbled upon not one, but two active dating profiles for this guy who is currently in a two plus Ooh. year relationship. Oh, jeez. Now, I don't know active. Does that mean they're reaching out to people? Is that or what does active that mean? means? Yes. It does. No, that's like him trying to date. I don't care where he's doing it, whether it's online or IRL. You got to stop her. that. You got to tell her. Just say, I'm sure you're aware of this. No, no, no. No, I don't think you say, I'm, Wait, sure, I'm sure you're aware I of this. I hate to tell you something you already know. But no, no, no. But here's the thing. Active might mean he never deleted it, but it's just sitting there. It no, doesn't necessarily... they just told well, me they he's... Know. Re they know. They don't. They have These no idea. These people know. Has he dated? Has he act, reached out to people? I'm going to say yes. You don't know, Rainy. <laughs> So they don't know. So here's the thing. Just say, look, I know you guys have been dating for a couple of years. It was so weird. I was online and I was looking like, who could I meet? And now I saw it, but you, right? You, you know, know that. You know, because he's, it must. Yeah, but then you say that and her face no, falls. No, but just say he must have left it up. I'm sure. And then let her ask him. See what I just did there? Yeah. I solved the problem. I solved the dilemma. <laughs> I don't Casual. know. If, I'm not sure if it's solved, to be honest. What would you do? Would you not tell her? I think I would tell her, but I'd be straight up. But what do you mean? How do you know? Then you're judging. He may have left it up there I for two years. It don't matter. You shouldn't have an active profile. But I don't, do you, have, you might have some old thing on Match.com. Oh, no, I never matched. <laughs> I got married in the 90s. Oh, right, right. But some people, I bet you right now, who are married are like, oh, my God, did I ever delete my Match.com thing? Okay. People do. They're forgetful. Would you ever go on Match.com? No. <laughs> okay, I'm just wondering. All right, if you've got a social dilemma. You know how to shut me up instantly. <laughs> you sure do. And we want to hear about it. Head to HodaAndJenna.com and hit the connect mm -hmm. button.